And chestnuts roasting on a triple yeah. <laughs> That's right. Zid, believe me, you don't need big money to make a movie with a big heart. Yeah. Good. Well, at Finkelstein Films, we like to make the world you want to see. Yes, it does say that on my card. Um, you know what, Sid? I'm going to have to call you back. Thanks. Ira J. Finkelstein! Ta-da! You know, we didn't have a whole lot of ornaments, so I did like you said and used my imagination. Low budget magic. Make the world you want to see, eh? Wow. Never say die, kid. Now, take that shrub back where it belongs before your mother gets home. What? This is not a shrub. It's the Finkelstein Christmas tree. Ira, Finkelsteins do not have Christmas trees. Why not? You know why. We're Jewish. Well, do we have to be? Ira! I mean at Christmas. You know what? Fine. Why bother? Right? Tradition, heritage, culture. Oh, no. I mean, who needs it? No problem. Hey, at least I'll save on your bar mitzvah. No. Oh, no. Oh my God, look at this place. What have you two been up to? Uh, honey, I Do just- Do you two have any idea who's about to arrive for a first meeting with Rosie Finkelstein, event planner? Santa Claus. Hey, don't upset your mother. Sorry. Jennifer Cameo. From Desperate Jane? The one and only. I t- I- a star is coming to my house? Well, sort of. Well, you know who she is. She just hired me to plan her Christmas party. What, Christmas party? Rosie, she's a name. She's a name! Ha ha! She's a name! Oh ho ho! Ira, this is the break we've been waiting for. We are gonna attach her to Daddy's Christmas picture. The reindeer from Planet Nine is safe. Hey, Steve Spielberg, why don't you attach yourself to the vacuum cleaner and clean up this mess? Okay. Right. Hey. Jennifer Cameo, I presume? I love you on Desperate Jane. You look even younger in person. <laughs> He's a player, huh? <laughs> oh. The problem with my last party is that it just wasn't shiny enough. I need at least 50% more sparkle. Nothing says Christmas like sparkle. <laughs> Nothing says Christmas like snow. Ira, cheese tray. Maybe you could have snow that sparkles. Oh, write that down. I'm gonna see snow for the first time. I'm going to Aspen. There's snow there and lights and hot chocolate. It's gonna be the Christmas of my dreams. Oh, no, Pookie. Pookie likes the cheese. Don't you, Pookie? You did your Pookie Wookie. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Don't you, Pookie? You did your... A boogie woogie. Mm. Ira gets nervous around dogs. Oh. No, it's okay, Ira. Pookie won't hurt you. Mm. Here, give him the break. Ira, it's okay. Go ahead. It's okay. It's okay. Mm. Ah! Oh, oh, Ira! Excuse me. <laughs> Kids. You know, Jennifer, if you like snow, then you would love to be on the set of my new Christmas movie, The Reindeer from Planet Nine. Are you a director? Writer, director, producer. You know, I do it all. And as it happens, I am still looking for my female lead. A Christmas picture. <laughs> I'd be perfect. Yeah? <laughs> Move over, Rudolph. <laughs> oh. It's not important. Oh. Ira, honey, it's just a little dog. I know, but dogs like to bite me. One dog three years ago. I had stitches. 
I got a scar for light. I know, but you gotta get over it. Dogs know when someone's afraid of them, they can smell your fear. You have to show him who's boss. Watch. Pookie, sit. Now stay. Christmas picture. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, yes, we are. Yes, yes we are. I love her. Oh, oh, you are so cute. Congratulations. When do you start? The 23rd. We're going to shoot right through Christmas. Oh, yes, we are. Wait, what? No, you can't do that. We'll be in Aspen. Won't we? Um, Ira, buddy. No, no. We're going to Aspen to see real snow. No stupid movie fake snow. No, you're not canceling my Christmas. Uh, Ira! Buddy. We're gonna make a movie. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, yes, we are. Ira. Ira. We're closed for the holidays. Uh. Let me explain. Ira. Ira, sweetheart, listen to your father. Go ahead. Ira. 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 Ira, put down the violin. Thank you. I'm listening. Good. Ira, you know how important Daddy's business is? And, and Mommy's too? This is our big break. Hey, we can go to Aspen next year. In fact, if this goes good, we can go to Aspen every year. We can go wherever you want. You're a good son, Ira. And I know that you're gonna understand and forgive for the family. Mishpoka. Okay. Now you listen. Christmas is supposed to be about family. Mishpuka. And everyone being happy. Now, I've seen a lot of Christmas movies and I know what I'm talking about. And I'm not happy. Do you see this? This is unhealthy. Thanks. No, yeah, he, he's, he's obsessed with the Christmas. The whole world is obsessed with Christmas. I'm just the only one who doesn't get any. You. You get to plan a Christmas party. And you, you get to make a Christmas movie with Santa Claus and reindeer. But, but that's business. What about family? Mishpuka, what about me? You don't have to give me any Hanukkah presents. You don't have to get me any birthday presents next year. This is all I want. I want you to go tell Desperate Jane you'll see her at New Year's. And take me to Aspen like you promised. With the evergreens and the hot chocolate and the snow. All passengers are reminded that at no time. Ira, stop sulking. I know it's not Aspen, but it's not every kid that gets to go to Florida for the holidays. Or the Christmas. Yeah, but Florida's the opposite of Christmas. Honey, they have beautiful beaches. And nice condos. And warm sand, you can wiggle your toe. Hey. Ira, Ira, will you stop that kid? Excuse me, sorry, Ira, hey, thank you. What has gotten into you? Oh, look at you, you could have broken your glasses. I want to stay with you guys. That's the Christmas spirit. Enough with the Christmas spirit. And do not mention that to your grandparents. Ugh, that's all I need. Did you remember to bring your spare pair of glasses? No. You're lucky your mother adores you. Then why are you sending me away? Ira, 
Daddy! Read my lips, because maybe you didn't hear me so good the first 10 times. Your father and I are gonna be working around the clock all week and we can't leave you alone. And your grandparents are really excited to see you. It's been years. So stop sulking, honey. Yeah, and we'll go anywhere you wanna go next year. Next year. Time to wake up. You don't want to miss your connecting flight and get stuck in Chicago, believe me. Hello from the flight deck. We've begun our descent into Chicago O'Hare International Airport, where the temperature on the ground is 28 degrees and snowing. Snow? I just can't do without Christmas. I thought you said you were getting the heater fixed. I did get it fixed. It broke again. I'm sorry, Mikey. It'll be fixed by the time you get back, I promise. Is it warmer in Washington State, at least? Nope. Great. Don't be that way, honey. You're gonna have a good time with your cousins. I don't care about them. I want to spend Christmas with you. I'll make it up to you, Mikey. Next year. I promise. When I have some seniority. I don't even know what that is. It means I'm low woman on the totem pole. Maybe you just want to have Christmas with Rod. Nah. You're my special guy. You know that. Is that why I'm going to Washington? Sorry. It's only a week. It's going to be an adventure. Let's go, hon. You don't want to miss your flight. But you said it was delayed. Can't we go outside and play in the snow for a little bit? <laughs> Sorry, that's not how it works. Come on now. We have a nice indoor play area. Hmm? You stay put now. I'll be right back. Here? You too, huh? Excuse me? Getting the shaft at Christmas. So, where are they shipping you off to? Stupid Florida. Lucky you. Sunshine and beaches. What about you? Stupid Christmas town. Christmas town? Where's that? Some town in Washington State. It's supposed to be all Christmassy and lit up and decorated with a bunch of stupid snow. I just want to stay home with my mom. Well, I wish I could go to Christmas town. I've seen every Christmas movie ever made but I've never even played in the snow. Really? Where do you live? Hollywood. Does your dad make movies? <laughs> he tries. Are your parents divorced? No. Mine are. You're lucky. Plus, I'm pretty sure we're poor. My mom's a waitress. Mine plans parties. I bet she gets you really good Christmas presents. We're Jewish, we celebrate Hanukkah instead. Do you get presents for it? Eight days worth. Dude, you have an incredible life. Yeah, but you're the one who gets to go to Christmas Town. Like, who lives there? Your dad? I'm actually going to visit my cousins, but I haven't seen them in like five years. So my mom had to give me this picture so that I could recognize them. What kind of Christmas is that? A white one. Are you gonna play in the snow? <laughs> I guess. I'd rather go someplace warm though. My mom says there's this main street that gets all lit up. Kids sled on it and there's a Santa's workshop and reindeer and hot chocolate.
is Ira. Ira Finkelstein. Finkelstein? That's funny. I'm Mikey Amato. Mikey, this is going to be the Christmas of our dreams. Finkelstein. Hope you have a great time on the warm, sunny beaches of Florida. I bet your grandparents will be so happy to see you. They haven't seen you in years. They probably won't even recognize you. Glad I at least have this photo of my cousins. Time's up. Hey, Ira, punch in your cell phone number so we can talk over vacation. No, I think it's time to go. Oh, let them. It's cute. Always nice to make new friends. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Merry Christmas, Ira. Now you have my phone number, too. You said it, Mikey. All right, let's go. Hey, Ira! Happy Hanukkah! Merry Christmas, Mikey. I usually say happy holidays. It's easier. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. This is the final boarding call. Everything OK? Everything's great. Mikey, it's me. Ira, where are you? In Florida. Tell me what to do. Don't panic. Your grandparents will meet you at the baggage claim. Sam will definitely be wearing a hat. Ruth will be carrying some food. Over and out. Welcome to Florida, Ira. Mwah. He's grown. Ira, look at you. You're a man now. <laughs> well, here, have a knish. Thanks, Grandma. I'll take two. <laughs> what an appetite. <gasps> and no more glasses. I see great. Must be the tropical air. Oh, Must be. Bonum, I could eat you up. <laughs> Where's Mikey? He's probably going to be the last one off the plane, honey. Hi, Aunt Libby. Hi, cousins. Mikey? Oh, here's my ID. Uh, sorry the flight was delayed. Where's Uncle Walt? In the bar. Where else? Hey, Mikey. Hey. Hello, Mikey. We're so glad you could come stay with us for Christmas. She has to say that. Jessica, enough. Karate dog action! Let's hit the road. Let's do it. Come on, boys. Let's go. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. This is so beautiful. Right out of the movies. Thanks, nephew. We aim to please. 
Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Be careful, it's icy. I'm fine. Karate dog action! Quit it, Kyle. Way to drive like a dork, Dad. Jessica. Talk to me after you've been driving for 20 years. Back into a kid. No, glory, no. Come see the tree. <laughs> what do you think? Are you kidding? It's the best Christmas tree I've ever seen. Really? That's great. We haven't had the greatest year. I'm hoping the perfect Christmas will make things better. Look, I made you an ornament. Oh. Well, you're even wearing the same hat and coat. But I didn't know you had glasses. Oh, they're, um, they're new. Dinner! You can sit right there. Okay. Should I light the candles? Sure. Hey, um, Aunt Libby, after dinner, can we go sledding? Uh, just a sec, Mikey. Jessica, dinner! I'm going out, so. No, you're not. You're working on your college applications. It's Christmas vacation. And besides, why bother? It's not like we're gonna have the money to send me anywhere good. I don't see you with a job. Like father, like daughter. Sorry, Mikey. It's too late for sledding, but we've got a great day planned for you tomorrow. We're going to the Christmas Town Parade. Jessica's going to take you. Uh, no. I have plans. With Spike. I want you and Dad to take us. I work all day, Claire. Dad? Uh, Daddy's got a full day tomorrow, honey. You gotta keep getting my face out there. Keep making contacts. On the racquetball court? That's the way it works. But I don't want Jessica to take us. We'll deal with it because that's the only way you're going. <sighs> Nobody even cares about what I want. I'm sick of being the family slave. It's not my fault Dad's a failure. Jessica Elizabeth Wilson. Are you gonna let her get away with that? <sighs> Jessica! Bow to me. I'm karate done. Why? Such naches. What a boy chick. What a grandson. I'm you. happy already. Why do I need to dance? Oh, come on, don't you need oh a dance God, I'm What a grandson. <laughs> all the way across the country, our Ira flew all by himself. He's such a mensch, what a mensch. Oh, well, you should see my grandson. He flew all the way to Israel. Oh, that's nothing. My little Susan, only four years old, got lost in a grocery store and found her way home, over three miles away through five busy intersections. I could do. Ira, 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 Ira. Would you like your first Hanukkah present? A present for me? Why wait? <laughs> wow, go 
Oh, it's gal, Tommy. It's chocolate. Don't eat the wrapper. Oh, even better. Don't be a chaza. Hey, <laughs> look. Oh, oh, he knows what to do with that. Hey. 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 Can I come in? Sure. I just wanted to say good night. Good night. Mikey? Yeah? When your parents got divorced, did you know it was going to happen? Were they fighting a lot? Oh. Um. I don't really remember. My parents never used to fight. I can't believe I thought some dumb Christmas tree would make things better. Maybe it will. Thanks. I'll see you in the morning. See you in the morning. Ladies and gentlemen, Jennifer Cameo! Here's something you didn't know. Rudolph was a girl. <laughs> Jennifer Max, Cameo. Daddy, why would I stay with an unemployed fat man who leaves me every Christmas Eve and goes off to see the world without me? What's my motivation? Well, you're Mrs. Claus, Edna, so... But you love him? It's Christmas. We were thinking there could be a subplot. But, Louie, we're on a budget. Max, darling, this is art. Yes. What if I'm not just an elf? Pitch him, Louie. What if I'm a secret agent hired by evil galactic forces to infiltrate the workshop? I get close to Mrs. Claus, then dump her after she spills Santa's secrets. Mm. Burned. I take revenge by sabotaging his elf mobile. And I blow up. Uh, I sing my big number. That could work. You know, we could. Oh, okay. oh. excuse me. Yeah. Ira, is that you? Speak up, Ira. You told me to call and say goodnight. You're a good boy. I wish you were at the party. There is so much sparkle. That's great. Listen. We'll, we'll call you tomorrow, okay? I love you, sweet dreams. I love you too. Oi, Hanukkah, Hanukkah, Yom Tippa Shane, a Lucifer, a Watermelon, no, not a Watermelon, all in a day, but spin the near. Oh, what's the matter with you? I hardly know the words. You hardly know your name. promise from mom is worth. Don't you want to go? No. Why would I want to watch some dumb parade and see a bunch of stuff I don't have any money to buy? I have some money. 
please. No, I do. It's my vacation money. Thirty dollars. Are you bribing her? Yes. Hand it over. No! She has no scruples, Mikey. Don't give her a cent till we see the whites of those reindeer's eyes. You're a brat. Get dressed. Yes! <laughs> I celebrate Kwanzaa myself. I like your store. Community and culture. That's what it's all about, right? Something for everyone. There you go. Happy Hanukkah. And Merry Christmas and Happy Kwanzaa and Happy Holidays. Hi you too, yeah. Ira. Shh, shh, shh. Ira. Ira. Oh, it's the name on the credit card. My dad's name. Your dad is Uncle Steve. Right. Steve is actually my dad's middle name. His first name is Ira. Did you not know that? Weird. Can we go get hot chocolate, Mikey? You bet. Mikey rules! Christmas Town rules. And we rule Christmas Town. Hiya! Who's that? That's Jack the Jerk. Sworn enemy of all that is good. Mikey, let's get out of here. Look at the Christmas wuss. <laughs> Leave my cousin alone. He's just visiting. Shut it, dork. Visiting, huh? <laughs> oh. How do you like Christmas Town? It's great. Great if you're a spoiled little Christmas wuss. <laughs> Don't you know Christmas is for everyone? I think so too. 
then I bet you won't mind making a end of the year donation to an underprivileged child. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, I, I don't have any money. He gave it all to my sister. You better have something good in that bag. No, it's mine. Shut up! <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this stupid thing? <laughs> Only wusses have gingerbread houses. <laughs> I worked really hard on that. Then you're even dumber than you look. You better not pout. You better not cry. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah. Stay out of Christmas Town. Or next time, I'll break more than your gingerbread. You understand? <laughs> Answer me, four eyes! Yes, I understand. What's the matter? <laughs> You don't like dogs? <laughs> Please, don't stick them on me. I'll give you anything. It's okay, Mikey, calm down. Is the dog gonna kill Mikey? No, this is a nice dog. That's why I named him Killer. <laughs> don't kill me, Killer! Do you wanna race? Let's race! Friend Christmas, boys. Hope you make it to the North Pole. Oh, I said get him! <laughs> <laughs> It's me, Ira. Who? Pay dirt! Pay dirt! Ira? Ira Finkelstein? I, I'm sorry, you must have the wrong number. I'm Ira Finkelstein. Best grandson in the world! <laughs> what? Uh, I'm sorry, I have to go now. Me and Grandpa are hunting for treasure, and we just found another quarter! Goodbye, Schmendrick! <laughs> come on, See ya, come Mikey. on. Come on, no, Ira. No, Mikey, I want to trade back! this that cometh out of the wilderness? Speak up, space creature! But have you lost your wits in the storm? Who are you? Who's your favorite reindeer now? You are, and you're smoking. Uh, Jennifer. Who is this that cometh out of the wilderness? Speak up, space creature! But have you lost your wits in the storm? Who are you? Who are you? You know what? This is really pretty good. <laughs> it's got that winter fresh kind of... Oh, okay, sorry, okay. Um... <sighs> Line. Um, okay. I'm the reindeer from Planet Nine. Nine, right. Move over, Blitzen, because this woman driver's gonna drive your sleigh tonight. Got it. Got it? No problem. Great. Copy that. All right, one more time from the top, everybody. Here we go. Making movies. Quiet on the set, please. I feel it on this one. Edna, Louie, you're doing great. Thank you, Thank Max. You. Thank, Thank you. you, Max. Okay, slate in. All right, it's sparkly. There's candy canes everywhere. You're a reindeer. Be the reindeer and action! <laughs> Who is this? 
face that cometh out of the wilderness. Speak up, space creature! Or have you lost your wits in the storm? Who are you? I am the eighth reindeer. So move over, Pixie, because this sleigh's gonna drive your blitzed out woman home tonight. Perfect, cut, moving on. Great job. <gasps> Max, it's Ira. Oh. Hey, Ira, honey, how are you? That's a long story. We miss you, sweetie. I miss you too, Mom. A lot. Rosie! Bring me Pookie. Coming, Jennifer! Mom, I have to tell you something. Honey, I'm gonna pass you over to your father. I'll talk to you soon. I love you. It's Ira. Ira, I just talked to your grandfather. You did? Yeah. He called me this morning. Now, I know you weren't crazy about going to Florida, but your grandfather says you're turning into quite a man. They can't get enough of you. You got rave reviews, buddy. Uh oh. <laughs> What's wrong, pal? Nothing. I could be wrong. Well, it takes a grown up kid to turn disappointment into happiness. I'm proud of you. A for effort. Max! Max! Yeah, I, I gotta go. We'll talk tonight. I love you. Great. Amazing. <laughs> Try this. Mmm. Oh, delicious. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I have a glass of water, please? Yes. Let's move. Expecting. You look like you had a rough day. Who are you hiding from? Oh, this bully, Jack the Jerk. I'm banished from Christmas Town. Impossible. Our people have contributed to Christmas for years. Our people? Mary Lefkowitz, at your service. A Jewish Santa. Who else would work on Christmas? And you are? Ira. Ira Finkelstein. But don't tell anyone. I'm incognito. Mm. Ira. You know the song White Christmas? Of course. I love that movie. A Christmas classic, yes. Written by a Jewish writer, directed by a Jewish director, and the songs courtesy of the great Irving Berlin, also a member of the tribe. No way. Let it snow, let it snow. Written by Sammy Kahn and Julie Stein. Jew One and Jew Two, Silver Bells, Winter Wonderland, Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire. We're batting a thousand. Go ahead, try one. Rudolph Red Nosed Reindeer. Funny you should say that. Johnny Marks, Jewish. He also wrote Rockin' Round the Christmas Tree and Have a Holly Jolly Christmas. That's crazy. Is it? Ira, you want me to walk you to where you're going? Make sure you get there safe? No, thanks. I can do it. Had a boy. <laughs> On the 12th day of Christmas, my true love came to me. 12 drummers drumming, 11 pipers piping, 10 floors are leaping, 9 ladies dancing, 8 mates are milking, 7 swans are swimming, 6 geese are laying, 5 golden rings. Woo! Mikey, are you OK? Yeah, I hid in a tree. I am so sorry about all of your stuff. Oh, it's okay. We shouldn't have bought it in the first place. I guess we try and get Jessica to take us home now. Hey, she's pretty good. I know. I hate her. How about another? Mikey? Yeah? 
I want to show you something kind of cool. At least I think it's cool. I've never taken anybody there before. Will Jack the Jerk be there? <laughs> Definitely not. Sounds perfect to me. Good evening, Town Hall. Hi, Mrs. Levy. How you doing, sweetheart? Go ahead, go ahead. No, no. I wasn't talking to you, please. I'm a professional. Now, what do you want? This place is great. It's my secret hideout. It's over a hundred years old. Mrs. Levy said people used to do vaudeville here. Vaudeville? Really? Oh, that's so cool. My grandpa was a model. He was a tap dancer. Does he still dance? I don't know. I haven't seen him in a while. Oh. I wish you could see this place, though. I knew you'd like it. Hey. Wow, look at all this great stuff. <coughs> you know, they really ought to fix this place up. Mrs. Lovey said the town doesn't have the money. I don't think anyone ever comes here but me. What do you do here? Like, stuff. Oh, uh, you really shouldn't look at that. You wrote a Christmas song? I like to sing. I just don't do it in front of anyone. I'm too nervous. How did you know how to write it? I don't know. I just did it. Probably not very good. But I can maybe play for you tomorrow. We could pretend like we're in a show. Pretend? No, pretend nothing. Let's do it! Let's put on a Christmas play! What are you talking about? I'll write the script and I'll direct it. You can sing your song. Jessica and Spike can play their guitar. Oh my gosh. It's a Christmas musical! You're crazy! I can't sing in front of an audience. You can't direct a play! Says who? My dad's a director. Uncle Steve? Sure, Uncle Steve. Look, Claire, we have to do this. This will be our way of making our own Christmas. Something that no one can take away from us. What if my song stinks? Claire? I'm sure your Christmas song is very good, even if you're not Jewish. This is our chance to have people listen to what we have to say. Come on, Claire. Will you do it? Yes. I love you, Mikey. You're the best cousin ever. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Mikey, what? Please tell me. No, I can't. Yes, you can. Come on. I trusted you with my secret hideout. You're gonna be really mad. Just tell me, Mikey. Whatever it is, it's better not to lie. I'm not your cousin. What? I'm not your cousin, okay? I'm not Mikey. I'm RJ Finkelstein. Me and Mikey, we met at the airport and we swapped places. He's in Florida right now having a really great time with my grandparents. I hate him and I hate my parents too. Aunt Julie and Uncle Steve? No! Rosie and Max Finkelstein of Hollywood, California. They're making a movie right now with Desperate Jane, who I also hate. You know what, they don't even miss me. I thought it'd be worth getting in trouble to see some snow and have Christmas, but now nobody even cares. I care. I'm having a really good Christmas. It's because of you. Really? Yeah. Thanks. 
I guess it's time to come clean. You're gonna tell? I have to. I can't keep this up forever. Ira Finkelstein, you are directing me in a Christmas musical on Christmas Eve. Promise me you won't say one word till after the show. You really think we can do it? Of course. Shake. Shake. Got a minute? I'm on Facebook. We have a favor to ask no. you. A business proposition. Wow, I feel like a success already. Now, you may not know this about me, Jessica, but I'm a director. I think you'd be just perfect for an important part in my upcoming Christmas pageant. It's the heartwarming role of a guitar player and a band who accompany the singers. And based on what I saw on Main Street, I've decided to offer you, Jessica, the part right now. You don't even have to audition. Oh my God, I'm so honored. That's terrific. She's being sarcastic. Me? Never. I would love to waste my Christmas vacation time mortifying myself in a brain damaged Christmas play put on by babies. Jessica, you're an awesome guitar player. Don't you want to be on stage? Not with you guys. Forget it. I knew she'd say no. How much? What? You said it was a business proposition. How much are you willing to pay me? Um, it's kind of a labor of love type thing. I'll do it for 50 bucks. I guess I could go to a cash machine with my credit card. Jessica, don't. He's gonna get in so much trouble. Oh, but we need music. <sighs> Jessica, please. For me? Is there even a place to plug my amp in? Yes. Yes. Okay. But we're not wearing any stupid holiday costumes. Don't worry. I think your own costumes are great. <laughs> Love you, Jessica. Thank you. Dork. This is for everyone. A new musical by Mike Yomato. Or Ira Finkelstadt. Music and lyrics by Claire Wilson.
Okay, Ira, let's show those two schlemiels how the Finkelsteins play tennis. Yeah, okay, Grandpa. That's no Finkelstein. What? I said that's no Finkelstein. What? Play, play. What's wrong with you? It's a different kid. What, is he blind? Well, are you going to just stand there and schwitz all day, or are you going to serve? You won't even see it go by, you blind old fart. <laughs> What are you doing, kid? You have to hit it back. You just let that alta cocker make it 15 love. Sorry, Grandpa, I forgot. It's kind of been a while. What's to remember? You hit the ball over the net, inside those lines, and I don't want to put pressure on you, Ira, but if Bernie Plaza beats me, the rest of my days are going to be hell on earth. You can count on me, Grandpa. OK. Hey. The kid's got power. <laughs> Take that, you blind old fart! It ain't just serve, schmucko! Hey, 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 don't you talk that way to my grandson. Nice one, he almost hit the deck. But Ira, you have to wait for him to serve. And then I smack it? Right. Fifteen love! That's my boy! We won the point! All right! All right! All right, well, what's that? My end zone dance! Woo! Not just an athlete, it's a dancer! It's like a circus. I should have stayed home and watched the gong show. No, 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 he's a kid, Bernie. He's probably got that disease. Huh? The attention deficit. No focus. The whole generation. Watch. I'll give him an easy one. He'll put it right into the net. Like Babe Ruth. You're just jealous because it's not your grandson that's heading to the major leagues. It's my grandson. I'll get it. I'm a good climber, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 oh, good. You're taking a break. I brought oh. Bergola. What break? Oh, it's we just got started. Oh. I should have stayed home and watched the love boat. Oh. Where's Ira? Good question. I'm up here, Grandma. Hey, Grandma, look at me. What, you want a medal? Ira, get down from there. You'll break your neck. What is he doing up there? It's not safe. It's fine. He's a natural athlete. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Hey, Grandma, watch my end zone dance. Ah! Ira! so good. Look at the star. No, he needs an audience. Yeah. Great work, team. And remember, when you go home tonight, work on those lines. I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye, Bye, Mikey. Oh, come, all you faithful, joyful and triumphant. Awesome. I made a camel. You go, Kyle. <laughs> Let me just pack up my stuff. The car's up the street. Oh, oh we no. can walk. We have to put up posters for the show. I could put up a couple if you want. That'd be great. Not that I think anyone's actually going to come. Are you kidding? You should hear Claire's song. It's awesome. Yeah. Top of the charts. You're insane, Mikey. You know that? You have this ridiculous view of the world. You are so naive. Make the world you want to see. That's what I say. Uh, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Where do you get this stuff? My dad.
Okay, put that over there. Thank Max, you. Max, Yes. this is not good. Don't worry about it. Everything's going to be fine. Desperate Jane is a train wreck. No, no, she's an artiste. She just needs a little support. Come with me. More candy canes! How many candy canes are out Honey, there forget right now? about the candy canes. Max, I love you. You're brilliant. But I can't work like this. Is this what I trained for? Tell me. Ah! My God, is she dying? I think it's her brain. Edna, you're beautiful. Louie, keep up the good work. We are going to be rolling again in no time. Now get in there. Right. It's okay. Jennifer? Hi. I'm here for you. Just tell me what's wrong. Max? <laughs> Nothing is wrong with me. I am a trained actress, recently featured on page 12 of Hello There Weekly Magazine. I'm Desperate Jane. I have fans and a blog and I am in control. I think Pookie is having a nervous breakdown. Oh, I'm, excuse me. Ruth, is everything all right? See, Pookie's not used to seeing me in such a dramatic role. And I think that it's just, it's just brought up a lot of issues. He what? So I think we just need to stop. Just stop all of this until after Christmas, okay? Pookie needs his rest, okay? <laughs> So after Christmas, Jennifer, no, I, I, I can't lose the days. You say yes, or I sue. Hm? Well, for what? Cruelty to animals. We'll be right there. Max. She wants to shut down the film. No, it's just until Pookie can get himself together. Good. Pookie could use the break, because you and I are on the next flight to Florida. What? Ira is in the hospital. He broke his arm. Oh, no. Let's go. Yeah, we should probably turn back. We have to put up this last poster. Hey. Very eye-catching. Are we in someone's yard? Dumb mutt, I've had it with you. Lousy car dog, and you crap on the rug. It's a killer. You won't do it again, Dad, I swear. Oh, don't lie to me. That dog is no good. All he does is eat food and cost me money, just like you. Well, he only did it because you were yelling at him and he got scared. That dog is going to the pound tomorrow. Dad, please. Don't you smart off with me, boy. You want something to cry about? I'll give you something to cry about. No. Yeah, I didn't think so. Get inside and clean up this mess. Get. Go on, get. Run, Ira. Run away, you stupid dog. I don't care what happens to you. Someone's afraid of them, they can smell your fear. We have to show him who's boss. Sit. Stay. Good boy. Nah, you're not much of a fighter at all, are you? 
Are you? Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Ira, let's get out of here. We can't let Jack the Jerk's dad take him to the pound. Wanna go for a walk, boy? Hey, you wanna go for a walk? Okay, come on. Side chocolate. Me, 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 and mistletoe. Do you want your mistletoe? Chocolate makes dogs sick. Well, it's good for humans, though. Right, kiddo? Thank you're, you, Daddy. You're welcome. There you go. Mom, can we keep mistletoe? Oh, honey, it's not a good time. We can't really take on the expense. But we're rich, aren't we? I mean, compared to people who have to live in little houses with washing machines in the yard, we have this huge house and all of this stuff. Duh, none of it's paid for. We have to pay the bank every month for the house and the cars and probably everything else. Who's we, Jessica? You guys. Oh, it's okay. I'm gonna take Mistletoe home on the plane with me. My parents won't mind. What? Claire, what did I say? You said your parents, but your dad doesn't live with you anymore. Oh, right. I, uh, I met my mom. Sorry. Oh, sweetie. Oh, it's okay to be sad. Even at Christmas. We are so lucky to have each other. my mom and dad. Of course you do. No wonder you want a dog. Oh, Sam. Oh, where is he? Recuperating. Oh, honey. Oh, God. Oh, my poor brave boy. Oh, such a thing. I'm all for clapped. I know, Mom. Me too. What were you thinking? What? The kid's a natural athlete. Ira? Ira. No. He... Yeah. <sighs> Ira? Ira, honey? It's okay. Mommy's here. Hey, buddy. How you feeling? Mom? Who are you? That's not Ira. Where's Ira? What? Where is Ira? My God, where is my son? What? Dad? What? You're a Meshuggah. What? Oh! Ira! Ira! Where's Ira? Hello? What do you mean, we have your son? Oh no. So, you're telling me the kid sitting in my Just living room isn't Just my cousin? Give, 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 Who is he? Ira Finkelstein? Oh, no, no, Ira Finkelstein. Sure. Can you hold on a sec, Mr. Finkelstein? I'll get Ira. Your dad wants to talk to you. Tell him I'm not here. Please. <laughs> hey, you want to get me in trouble too? An accomplice to kidnapping. Kidnapping? Who's kidnapping anyone? The real Mikey is in Florida. You're an imposter. Were you in on this? No, no, no. Claire didn't do anything. Except be my friend. Mr. Finkelstein? Um, Put Ira on the phone. Ira's not here. Not there. Where is he? Is he safe? Is he all right? Yeah, he's great. He just went to rehearsal. Don't, don't, he's don't, putting don't, on a Christmas play tonight. Oh, Jessica! Over my dead body. He's going to be sitting on a plane bound for LAX, wishing he had never heard of the Christmas. 
Yeah. Uh, I gotta go. No. I'll tell Ira you called. Bye, Mr. Finkelstein. I'm so sorry, Ira. To the theater! Really? Yes! Yeah, to the theater! What happened? Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year. Enemy of all that is good. I don't get it. Why would you do this? Because he's a selfish jerk. Hey, you better shut up. No. You shut up. You just want to ruin what other people care about. Do you have any idea how hard we worked on this and what it meant to us? To me? Do you know what it's like to care about anything at all? Yes! Care about Killer. What? Killer. He's mine. He's my dog. You have your big house and your gingerbread and your stupid little candle holder. I just have my dog. And you took him. You made him run away. No. Jack's right. Sorry. He's your dog. Have fun with your stupid little play. Hey, okay? You got your dog. You don't want to hang around with a bunch of Christmas wusses. So if you could exit the stage, we have a play to rehearse. How are we supposed to rehearse? They ruined our set. I know. We'll fix what we can. What we don't have time for, we won't. Hop up! Come on, guys. Hop up! Should we beat him up, Jack? Yeah, Jack. Should we? What about the girl? Oh, don't you dare touch him! Oh, stop! Oh, don't touch him! Baby Jesus. How? Yeah, that could work. He's already wearing swaddling clothes. Oh, no, you didn't. This is regulation Karate Don action gear. We're expecting a show tonight, Kyle. And are we gonna give it to him? Yeah! Hop, hop, let's go. How do you not recognize your own grandson? Oh, it's my fault because you never visit? We invite you every year! To schlep across country with your mother's fear of flying? Stop you it, you two! Just stop it, okay? Mikey, stop crying, honey. Everyone's yelling at me! No one is yelling! And why shouldn't we yell? Look at the trouble you have caused talking my son into this Delinquent scheme. It was Ira's idea. He's a smart one. My mom says I'm a natural born follower. Your mother loves you very much, Mikey. Then where is she? Why doesn't she call back? She will. She better. She won't. She probably ran away with Rod. And my arm hurts, Grandpa. Oi, it hurts. Oi, oi, Would you stop oi. that? You're not even Jewish. Don't talk like that to our grandson. What? Stop it! What? Stop it, everyone! This is all my fault. So airplanes are death traps. 
so airlines rob you blind. So they don't even feed you anymore. So Los Angeles has those awful freeways. So what? I should have gotten on the plane to see my family. No, Ma, we should have come to you. It's our fault. Don't argue with your mother. I'm not! No, it's my fault. Don't be mad, Grandma. I'm sorry I'm not Ira. Don't be sorry, Mikey. When you came running toward us in that airport, it was a joyful moment. You looked so happy to see us. We wouldn't trade that for the world. That's true, kid. So don't worry. You're still mishpucha. Thanks, Grandpa. Max, call the airport. Mom. Max, mishpocha, family. Come on, I'll pack the latkes. Latkes? I love latkes. Me too. I can't wait. Me neither. <laughs> oh. Oh. I can't believe this, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> This is crazy. No, crazy would have been for my sister to spend Christmas Eve in Chicago instead of being with her family. I don't know what to say. There is nothing I would rather spend money on than this. Thank you. I can't wait to see the look on Mikey's face. <laughs> Me too. And to see him in this play? You think you know your own child. Come on, let's get seats. Baby. Uh. Julie, go ahead. We're right behind you. Libby. She's so happy. I'm sorry. What for? That I haven't found a job. That we're in debt. Is this the Christmas play? Yes. Uh, follow the elves. Do you know Ira Finkelstein? No. Yes. You do? Yeah, right back with it's the show's about to start. Okay. 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 Thanks, mistletoe. <laughs> I couldn't afford eight reindeer anymore. Not in this economy. <laughs> it's funny. It's, it's doing shtick. I had to revoke Mrs. Claus's credit cards last week. Boy, am I in the doghouse. <laughs> Seriously, you'd like your doghouse back, wouldn't you? And now, ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present the world premiere of a bold new musical. Christmas is for everyone. Merry Christmas Eve, Nutcracker. To you as well, Bob Cratchit. But where is your son, Tiny Tim? There he is. Hi, Tiny Tim. There. There's Ira. Tiny Tim? Yes. My God, he's a man! <laughs> well, I'm but a poor crippled boy. Yet even I feel sorry for those who do not know the meaning of Christmas. I'm talking about you, Ebenezer Scrooge. Bah, humbug! We are wise men, yet this genius four-eyes boy is wiser still. Shh. Uh, speak more, <laughs> wise boy. <laughs> he's a chokham. Yeah, shh. That means a wise guy. Just watch. What is the meaning of Christmas? It must be more than my husband schlepping presents all over the world in one night. At his age and weight, oy vey. <laughs> oy vey. Oy. <laughs> it is the birthday of my son, Jesus. Sworn enemy of others, evil! Karate gone. He has come to save the world. My son. 
our son. That's what you think. All these costumes and beards, which one is Mikey? He's right there, Tiny Tim. Woohoo! Yeah! Tiny Tim! <laughs> mom. Is that your mom? Yes, Mary. Christmas is baby Jesus' birthday. But what about those who do not worship baby Jesus? Must they be banned from Christmas Town? Let them make snow angels too! He writes, he directs, and acts. Oh my god. Another Woody Allen. Another the kid Scott Hutz ball. Give him that. Give him that. That's Prodigy. my son. <laughs> Go to your mom. Go to your mom. Give her a hug and a kiss. Tell her you're fine. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I love you. I love you more. What say you, Scrooge? Go buy the biggest turkey in the window and keep the change. Thanks, Scrooge. What say you, Father? I'm, I'm proud of you, son. He's my grandson. Yes. Hey, that guy took my line. Dad? Ira, snap out of it. He's blinking. This isn't in the script. Oh, who's that? This is Mikey. Then who's that? That's Ira. Who's Ira? Who's Ira? Ira? Who's Ira? I am. I am Ira J. Finkelstein. And I love Christmas. Don't you love Christmas? <laughs> Mazel tov. Come on, I'm, I'm just quelling. I'm so happy. My show. Two, three. You turn the page, the time is near, tie up the bow and one more year. Remember Christmas, remember love. A sparkle here, a snowflake there, the gift of joy is in. Barbara Streisand. Good times, bad times come gather around the tree. Cause nothing means as much you see as friends and family. So just remember this, my friend, is what you give. The lessons paid off. <laughs> yes. Dad. Ira. Merry Christmas, Ira. Happy Hanukkah, Dad. <laughs> Ira, it's such a nice play. Thank you, Grandpa. Ira, you're a man. I am a man. You <laughs> make me you. want to stand. <laughs> Get back up there for your big finish. Maybe you should take a commission. Yeah, he's working. Wow.